Hi there, if you want to learn how to create sound effects, then you are in the right place. In this video, I'll be showing you three quick ways, quick tips that you can use to clean up your recordings inside of RX using the Spectral Repair tool. So three common culprits that kind of seep into recordings or that can be issues uh, in your recordings are little clicks and pops, also some background noise, which I won't be touching too much in depth in this video. And the other one is to having tonal uh, sounds or noise in your recording. So recently I've encountered all three in some of, some of my recordings in some capacity. So um, what I want to do in this video is just show you what I did to be able to clean up the recordings so that they are clean and crisp. All right, so here I am inside of RX, and let's just have a listen to the sound we're working with here. All right, so it's just a, a whoosh sound, a weapon swing sound. And there's two things that I that are already wrong with this file or that I hear that, um, that I want to edit and fix. One is going to be a click here that, I, that you can even see right here, and you can also hear it if you listen carefully right here. Right, you can hear that click right at the beginning, which is not supposed to be there. For some reason, it did get into the recording, and so we're going to fix that. And then the next thing that I see here is the um, like a little uh, tone up here that is just, again, in the recording. Not sure how it got in there, but it's still in there, and I, I, I want to get rid of it. And you might think, well, what's the point? It's like above hearing. Uh, hearing range so you're not actually going to hear it yes but if you do end up pitching it down it will start creeping into the recording and i, I just want to be able to uh, deliver the cleanest file possible with this sound pack that i'm working on here so that's why i want to create uh, fix those two so here we go let's let's work on the first one here which is going to be the click so the first thing i'm going to do here is hit our uh, selection tool here which is this box down here and i'm just going to select the area around where it is now if this was going all the way up and down i would just hear the time selection tool right here and just grab the whole thing but because it's not i'm just going to grab it like that and the next thing we're going to want to do here is i'm going to go to the right here spectral repair and because i am looking at a pop and it's a uh, a, a vertical slice here a vertical uh, pop in in the sound file it's going up and down i want to grab the horizontal direction of, of interpolation and what this is going to do is going to look at whatever's on the right and the left of this pop that's in the sound here to see what's actually supposed to be there and the next thing i'm going to do here th that i found that works really well here is to make your bands go to 128 so if you have your bands too high and i click render here you'll see it doesn't really do much it actually didn't didn't really do anything so um yeah 128 though if we render that you'll see it gets rid of a lot more of the sound there uh and it's a lot cleaner so now i'm, I'm just going to zoom in a little bit see if i can make it even a bit cleaner like that and now as, as you can see like the pop is completely gone so we just have a listen here it's completely gone you don't have that pop at the beginning it's a lot cleaner now next thing we're going to do is go up here and again i'm going to grab the selection brush and just grab this file and now because we have a, a tonal sound that's going from left to, left to right we want to look above and below what the sound is so i don't want to do horizontal because if i do that you're, it's not going to do much and it's going to kind of remove some of the sound that you don't want it to remove so instead i'm going to do vertical i want to look above and below um, this sound file here and then i'm going to click render now you'll notice here that it didn't do very much and that's because I'm using bands 128 and for some reason uh, when you're looking at a tonal sound like this where, you, where you're uh, applying vertical um, interpolation here, I want to go to 4096. I want the most bands and now if I hit uh, render, you'll notice that it's completely gone. It's like it was never even there. So now I just fixed both and now we have a super clean sound file. So if we have a listen, that's what it sounds like. So what we started with here, this is what we started with. And this is what we finished with here. All right, so here is another little tip that I've used that has worked well to help me remove some clickiness in, in my sound files. So here I have a sound, it's like a swing scrape. And you can hear here I have a little click. Now if I use the same technique that I had before here where I just grab this and let's say I'm gonna grab here my strength at one, bands at 128 and I just render that. You'll see it doesn't do a very good job of it. Again, if I go in and I just grab it a bit more, it does help a little bit. Let's have a listen. It's still there. You can visually see it. You can also hear it a little bit. All right, so let's undo all of that. Here's what I've done that has helped me to just get a better result. All right, so the first thing you can do is try to increase the strength here to get some better results. So if I do that now and I render that, now I should get a, a better, cleaner, sound here it definitely will help you still hear a little like dip here though so it's not the best but it can work it can happen in some instances so that's one thing you can try but the kind of technique or tip here that i want to show you is that the first thing i'm going to do is I increase the strength a little bit and i'm going to start at band 128 so the the least amount of bands i'm going to render that now what i'm going to do is i'm going to slowly go up to each band and render that so i don't want to change my selection i want to keep the exact same selection i have 
Render that. Render that at 1,024, 2048. Uh, sometimes I do two at 2048 and a couple of times at 4096 here. Okay, and just like that, now we should have a better sound. Let's have a listen here. Okay, I might even do a little bit more here. I find that sometimes when you just do like thin slivers like this, it can help as well. And there you go, it's barely noticeable. You do have a little like dip in here, but it's, it, it almost sounds like part of the file rather than having like a click in there. Right, so our initial sound was like this, right, with that click in there, and then after that. All right, so try that if you're ever like stuck or trying to figure out a way to really re uh, remove some of those clicky sounds and they're kind of covered by other frequencies or other content, that might help. All right, thanks so much for watching this video all the way to the end. If you want to see another video where I show some tips and tricks and things using our X, uh, I'll have it on the screen here. And if you have any comments, questions, of course, as usual, leave them down below. I always do my best to read them and answer them. So thanks so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.